Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. This is going to be your February love and general reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs 2020. We're going to get started with the deck on the left. We're going to pull one card and then a six card spread um, using regular tarot on the right. I am available for personal readings now, so if you guys are interested, info will be in the description box below. Let's get started. Okay, Virgo, so the card that you guys got is Eternal Soul. For the soul, there is neither birth nor death. The soul that is will never cease to be. Sorry about that. It is unbur unborn, eternal, ever-existing, undying, and primeval. It is not slain when the body is slain, okay? So what I'm getting from this is that some of you guys are having chapters close and chapters beginning, okay? Whether you're closing them out or people around you are doing it for you. Some of you Virgos are going to have a hard time accepting change. Others of you, you guys are welcoming it. You guys are coming into some really deep wisdom about endings and beginnings here and... Um, Deep wisdom is just what I'm getting from this card. Some of you guys may meet a soulmate, whether this be love or friends or just um, acquaintances that you meet here, okay? Soul family is what I'm getting here. Be careful of um, people tempting you is what I'm getting. Okay. I feel like you guys are going to be looking very attractive as well, Virgo, okay? So let's go ahead and pull your six card spread. Four of Swords reversed, the Star reversed, Two of Swords reversed. Of wands, nine of swords reversed. Nine of Wands. Okay, Virgo, here is your spread. I'm seeing kind of a tough month for you, okay? But all in all, I see you hanging in there, though. I see a lot of character. Um, with the Star card, I'm getting here that there may be some type of humiliation that has happened to you, okay? And it may have just really caused a lot of anxiety for you, but 
with the nine of swords under it in the reverse i see that you're coming to a point now where with eternal soul you're coming to some realization and wisdom that this is just part of life okay however that you get what i'm trying to say okay but i'm seeing a situation here where you may have been humiliated for some of you you're in by the end of this month you're not even gonna worry about it okay you're gonna get out of your head um I'm seeing an Aquarius here. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're showing up in the reverse. I'm also seeing that there may have been some type of wish that you wanted. I do not see it being granted. And if you are asking about a reconciliation with a Aquarius or with somebody, I'm not seeing a reconciliation here with um the star card i'm seeing you guys are gonna have a hard time healing okay i feel like you guys are stuck in a position here however that resonates to where with the nine of wands you're on defense i feel like you're not letting people sh sh like <laughs> i feel like you're not letting people see that you are on defense i feel like you're trying to be really chill but i feel like behind closed doors that you're having a hard time um expressing your true self you're having a hard time being authentic um you're having a hard time having f um, faith hope and healing yeah, there's a situation here that you just do not want to go back to, okay? And you don't want to go back to it. It's, it's because you're seeing the truth of it. You're seeing that you're just getting hurt every time. And it's like you're starting from ground zero again. And it's just more trauma, right? I'm seeing you guys are very traumatized by um, an Aquarius or by a group of people or a situation here, okay? That's what I'm seeing. With the two of wands though, um, you are manifesting new stuff is what I'm seeing, okay? Um, you guys may be a bit disorganized with the four of swords in the reverse, but overall you guys are very optimistic about it. Um, keep looking towards the light is what I'm seeing here, okay? But make sure you have your... Um, eyes dotted your t's crossed what have you yeah you guys are very op you guys are very optimistic about a new direction a new path that you guys want to go to and it your soul is just screaming for it too okay okay virgo so let's go ahead and pull an oracle card for advice for you guys. Okay, Virgo, you guys got the fates reversed. It is difficult to understand why painful things happen to good people. Fate is a mystery after all. Yet what we do with our circumstances, the way in which we respond to life's challenges, is how we rise up to greet our destiny. Now is one of those times to be aware of your powerlessness, to change certain situations, and surrender to acceptance. Hang in there. Life will only get better. Act as if you believe that. For the only thing you can control right now is your attitude. When you align with the fates, being mindful of what you can and cannot change, serenity will come to you. Okay, Virgo. So I'm getting that there's something here that was quite unfair that happened to you, okay? So hang in there, Virgo, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.